question was about cost, right? How much are you for pay? Actually, I wanted to kind of like uh, ask, let's say, our Indian friends here. You know, in India, when you need to do a, a 45 minutes uh, international production show, uh, we close to like 30 entertainers actually on board the ship. Uh, I mean, in our audience, how much do we have to pay? I, I, I'm not sure about the amount that we have to pay, but I guess the most of you will have to spend in the range of about 50 to 70,000 to gather the 35 talents and to do a 45 minutes production show. But when you come aboard the ship, the production shows are already there for you. So, you, you know, actually, it's not about just the production show. It's about the logistics, about the, the preparations and so on. So you can see that for ship arrangement is so simplest. And everything are being actually arranged for you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Michael. Thank you for putting light on all that is the ship. And now I would like to request Mr. Dustin and I to question our to say a few words for the crews and associate partner for this uh, cruise on 2024. Thank you. So, as uh, this cruise time is happening today, and it's a, a wonderful coincidence for you all to like witness uh, today's honor uh, company and uh, Rajiv Government's wedding is happening in the cruise. So, they all in cruise for, uh, from May 2029 to June 1st in Europe. So that's the trend uh, cruise is going to make uh, for all of us. Like how uh, destination weddings are a trend. Now cruise weddings are going to become a big trend in, uh, uh, for Indians and across the world. And uh, uh, basically, uh, when I spoke to Zunindi about uh, what is his plan, what he's going to do, like he said, uh, where you want to do? He said, I'm going to do it in water. I'm like, I'm like what? So, and then he said, hey, we are going to do the uh, convention in the cruise. So this is uh, something of a tough time. We have attended a cruise in different uh, destinations, uh, different places. So attending a uh, convention in a cruise is something uh, going to be a live experience for all the wedding planners and uh, wedding industry community. And uh, that's not all about it. Uh, like you know, when a celebrity does, anything, uh, it will become a trend. So that's how, again, uh, the school is going to become a big trend. And, uh, and I think it's a very good uh, time for uh, uh, Record World Rules. Uh, and they are going to come into the right hand. And congratulations for that. And uh, what uh, this uh, uh, event is going to give us, like it's not just a uh, convention, so, like of course, uh, for the wedding, for the wedding panel, so for us to uh, talk about some innovation, doing a cruise wedding is a complete package, like they are saying, everything is available, food, you don't need to do much decor, maybe a little bit of decor, and uh, everything is available and complete different experience for the entire guest. So, that is uh, one of the new innovations that we can tell. And, um, now, of course, for the wedding planners who are working for all the years, and uh, like everyone works hard, but the wedding planners are, uh, I know they're paying, uh, as I run uh, uh, wedding work management and for the last 12 years, I know what they pay, they go through every wedding. Uh, maybe it looks easy for us to see, a fancy, but uh, it's a very difficult job. And uh, for them to give a very easier time for all of us to interact, network, and everything is. Uh, uh, it's a treat it's a for all of us. Thank you again. And uh, finally, a man from uh, Jaipur, from the interior part of a village, coming to uh, and putting a wedding industry, an Indian wedding industry in a global map, is something uh, very, uh, very, very appreciable. And, uh, and uh, at least a big girl uh, for doing this. And uh, I'm, I'm there to support all of them. Uh, while I'm going to talk about uh, this, uh, I'm going to also talk about the global wedding uh, market uh, and Indian wedding market uh, for us, for you guys to take away, for you to do some takeaways. So, like you all know, the wedding industry in India uh, is at now $40 billion and it's likely to be 
at a family billion dollars in 2023. I mean, 2030, sorry, 2030. And uh, the global wedding, uh, as we are going into the global market now, so we should also know about the global wedding market, where it's at, uh, it was in the, the last year, stage, around the COVID time, it was at 150 billion, the global wedding market, which is about to reach at 600 billion dollar, dollars in 2030. So that's a future for wedding and uh, and our government is also like sort of recognizing uh, paying for wedding in India and all those stuff. So our industry is getting recognized and I'm very happy to be part of this industry and uh, happy to be part of this uh, event. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Krishna. Uh, now I would like to uh, request the uh, owner of Fort Rajwara Hotel in Jaisalmer, Mr. Vinay, to please say few words. Good evening, friends. Thank you, Vinjinji, for giving me an opportunity to sit with all the distinguished guests here. I don't even know whether I deserve to sit here or not, but you made me sit here, so I feel extremely proud. Uh, welcome to all our international guests. Thank you for uh, you know, participating and uh, giving your support to take this initiative ahead. Uh, I think a lot of things have been covered by all our friends sitting on the dials. I would like to uh, quickly bring the focus on the hospitality industry on an overall perspective so that you know, we are all on the same page. Um, hospitality as an industry is at the cusp of growth and globalization in the current phase of Indian economy. Right? Um, just from an investment perspective, around about $401 million have been invested in the year 2023 in the hospitality industry overall. Right? Because we own and run a hotel, so I can only give you numbers from that perspective, which will also uh, contribute in this initiative that you are taking. Uh, around about uh, 26,000 new key work planned in year 2023, which will open up over a period of time in the next couple of years. And around about uh, 13,600 keys were opened in the year 2023. Right? Um, Wedding in India has been a great initiative that our Office of Prime Minister is promoting and making sure that you know um, all the stakeholders of this economy understand and try and contribute in their own way. Wedding industry clocked uh, around about uh, 4.5 74 trillion rupees in the year 2023 in the Indian, Indian economy. This is the fourth largest industry in our country at this point. This is the data that I'm sharing from uh, sharing with you, which I've gathered from various uh, press releases that have happened in the last six seven months. Um, and the reason that this industry is now uh, the fourth largest industry in our country is because of disposable in income, increase in disposable income, increase in urbanization, increase in wet tax, and uh, social expenses. Uh, this initiative that, sir, that you've taken uh, is a great initiative for getting uh, all the old and new players who are part of this industry to come and share what they have done in the last 12 months and what can be done in the next 12 months, right? Hotels play a very big role in the wedding industry, but like the cruise that you have planned opens up new ideas and new doors for people to grow this industry to the next point, right? Average Indian uh, wedding size is around about 300 guests, and what I've heard from our dear colleagues who run this great cruise, you have the capability to post 300 plus. I have 400. On, on your ship? On the 4,000. So, um, 300 is the bare minimum or the average size that we can wedding now. So, we can have multiple weddings on your service. Yeah, we're dealing with uh, capacity 900 people in the auditorium. On the ship. On the ship. Now I have to attach your ship in my package. So I say that, you know, uh, if you need more people, you can jump on the cruise. So thank you all, and looking forward for your support 
in promoting this initiative and looking forward for your contribution in many ways which can't be discussed here but you guys are, are a big support for us and we thank you for taking out time today to you know, give your um, inputs to us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Now I will now just uh, more insight about education part inside the tools. What are all the features of these high tools that we are eager to know? Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. Just to let you know, I just flown in from Harcourt from a destination waiting. Not my own. So I saw up on waiting and I was comparing the land waiting with what we do on the ship. And I had a fabulous time in Harcourt, but I felt it was a one event. You know, where it's on the ship, we have the event for the way to start as soon as people get on. The ship's a party ship, and it's also a one stop shop because we have everything already built in the ship with all the entertainment venues. So we're not looking for extra contractors to come in to build LEDs, to build stages, to build tables. So I was really happy of what we've accomplished on the ship. And also, we're here in India to promote Resorts World 1 being in Dubai, as well as coming here. So, one of the things I was excited about Resorts World 1 was, of course, the waiting opportunity to go there for a waiting on the ship and also the destination to stay there. And we really made Resorts World 1 for Dubai a huge party ship with four parties, rain parties. We even have an upgraded gala event where people get dressed in their beds for the captain, the senior officer, all the paparazzi for those Instagrammable moments. These will never be as good as the wedding, but believe me, these will be a great add-on to the wedding to make the whole crew something really better. And funnily enough, one of the shows that we're going to have is for honeymooners. It's called Love Matters, and it's because we found our Indian guests are so involved in the entertainment We've made one of the shows an interactive show where we get to find out about the one we love or actually what we saw in you, but this is really. Uh, and we get couples to come up on stage and we ask them random questions and it's really interactive. The audience are giving them the points for how many points we have the beautiful dancers, the acrobats. So we really feel an interactive show something. And of course, if you're having your rating on board, this is a great add-on because we can really make sure that the people who are getting married are in the show as well. Other things that we're doing on board ships, we're having lots of fun in, with mob dancing. Again, this is a fun thing for the wedding because we have choreographers on board ships and they will teach a different Bollywood dancing. And then the people that are attending that class then in the main event or show or party that night, the mob dance will start and everyone will get up and dance. And again, it ties in really well with the, uh, the wedding aspect. So we do have lots of entertainment on the ship because all the shows are in theory. We have different shows every night. There's no charge for the show, so everyone can enjoy that. Also, we look after the teenagers because on both ships, we have teen ambassadors. So the parents who go and enjoy themselves, get ready for the wedding, the teens are looked after. We have a kids club and you can leave your kids in there for a couple of hours. You don't need to pay anything for the first two hours. So it's great for people to go and get ready, to go and do rehearsals for the wedding, just to relax. The ladies want to make up that. We have all that on board. We have the spa if you need to be straight and relax. So it really is a fabulous place for a wedding because as I said, Coming back from Papos, the wedding was fabulous, but it was like a five hours, and the rest of the holiday wasn't associated with the wedding. With the cruise, the wedding starts from the minute you get up the gangway, right until you leave the gangway at the end. So that's what we have on board with the entertainment, and for the wedding, it's perfect. And we also work very close with our partners. So any special thing that you want, whatever we have on board, we work together to make sure that we can deliver that for you. And we always try and go above and beyond just to make it even more fun. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gowen, for giving us insight about the group's entertainment. Now I'd like to uh, call Mr. Ashwini, uh, our counterpart, to say a few words for the group. Thank you. And 